Good afternoon, listeners, to our Great Journey podcast here with Sensei Callahan on this very chilly January afternoon. Today, Sensei Callahan will be talking to parents about how to help your children succeed in their training in this episode called The Best Way to Support Your Child. Sensei, you've seen thousands of students walk through your door. Please tell us what you've garnered from your experience in supporting these students and their families. Okay. Um, if I can remember what I'm going to say. <laughs> How I feel. It's, it's always one of these podcasts. You uh, you never know. What am I going to talk about? Yes. Yeah. You're okay. in the headlights. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to would say that the best way that a parent can support their child would be for them to become a student themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, often though, this is not possible because the parent has responsibilities, they've got a job, they've got other children they have to look after, a house to take care of, all, all different sorts of things, and they really can't uh, devote themselves to becoming a full-fledged student. Right. But the least that we want a parent to do is to become a spirit, a student in spirit. Okay. So what this means is that when you come into the school, that you come into the school as though you are also a student. Mm -hmm. And then when you hear the lessons that your child is getting out on the floor, mm -hmm. whether they're physical lessons about bending your knee or pulling your draw hand back or whatever it is, mm -hmm. or whether they are um, the character safety and success lessons that, that we're teaching or anything else, that you listen to them with the ears of a student. Okay. And if you do that, then you will be in the best position to support your child. And here's why. The, uh, every parent that enrolls their child in our school has gone through elementary school. Yes. And when their child is going through elementary school, they can easily guide their child through that process because they've done it themselves. Right. But very few parents have ever gone through a martial arts school and spent long enough period of time to earn a black belt. So been there for four or five, six, seven years. Right. Uh, only a very small number have. So, so most parents don't really know what goes on in the school. Mm -hmm. So they can best help their child if they become a student in spirit themselves. Okay. So what does supporting your child truly mean and how you teach it? Mm-hmm. Well, um, supporting the child, and this is a very good question. In, in some ways, it seems like a simple question. Right. Like everybody knows that. Right. Well, well um, those questions or those statements where that everybody ought to know, if you look deeper into those, mm -hmm. then you can come to a greater understanding of what it really is. Right. So supporting your child doesn't mean doing everything for them. Mm -hmm. What it means is pointing them in the right direction, guiding them, and helping them through that process. Mm -hmm. So the way that um, I would suggest that, that a parent be working with their child at home is that you decide you're gonna teach them something on some day. So maybe okay. it's gonna be, you're gonna teach them how to make a bed. Yes. It depends on their age, of course. They, they may already know how to do it, but right. uh, if they're hopefully. young enough. Yeah. Hopefully some of them, yeah. <laughs> then, then what you do is you say, okay, so you start off by saying what you're gonna talk about. Mm -hmm. We're gonna learn how to make a bed today. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then you bring them into the bedroom. You say, I'm going to show you how first. And then you do it first. Yeah. And then you tear the bear up, bed apart and you say, all right, now it's your turn. Right. And then they start to do it. And then as they're doing it, you correct them. Mm -hmm. um, and you can make this process fun, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't have to be uh, painful. No militant for kind anybody. of things. Okay. <laughs> Get out your whip. Right. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. Okay. Um, and then you, you have the child do it and you correct them along the way. Yes. And um, in correcting them, it's what you're teaching your child to understand is that their failure or their inability to do something right the first time is how we learn. Mm -hmm. Most of the best lessons that we learn, we learn when we fail at doing something. Yeah. Just succeeding, if you succeeded at everything you did every time you did it, right. life would not be a challenge. You would not really grow. Right. So it's, it's they're becoming humble when they accept your corrections and how to do that. Right. So you correct them on how to do it, and then you go, okay, nice job. Let's do it again. Yes. And you tear it all apart, and now they start all over again. Yep. 
and then you set a time on it. All right, okay. let's see if you could, that last one took you three minutes. Let's see if you can do it in two and a half. Right. Okay. And now they have to work faster so, and yeah. no mistakes. Right. And then, uh, yeah. So, so it's you, a you motivating it and yeah. a challenge. And yeah. most kids have a desire to please anyway. So they, when they, they get that positive reinforcement, they do. It encourages them to do better next time and next time. Yep. I know I feel like with my kids, the biggest one was loading the dishwasher correctly yeah. and rinsing before you put it in the dishwasher uh. really, really well. <laughs> Sometimes I think that's still a challenge. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Is there anything more you wanted to add? No, I would just say that uh, some dishwasher yep. uh, companies um, tout the idea that you don't have to rinse them okay. ahead of time. So I guess I'll have to invest in one of those dishwashers. Yeah, yeah. Or not. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for your insight. And hopefully this helps all you parents out there um, realize how important your role is, not just inside the Shotokan Karate Leadership School, but also at home. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.